Hi guys, it's Mr. Dave and Charlotte <laughs> and we are with the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History and we are back with another episode of Breaking, Breaking Boredom. Boredom. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Uh, well, this is a fun one. This is um, Thanksgiving is coming up and so we wanted to come up with something fun. We know Thanksgiving is a little different this year. Uh, people, you know, will be at home and kind of Maybe not the big gatherings, but we wanted something simple and fun that that you can do with the kids. You know, with this is my kid. Uh, yeah, that you can do with the kids. I'm uh, kid. And and yeah, <laughs> uh, and have a you know a fun time. That's not a huge mess, but it's kind of got a big um, effect. And then a fun little uh, after effect to this one here. So this one is called dancing corn. It's okay, really fun. <laughs> it is really fun. Uh, it's a neat one. You've seen. Uh, ones like this before but it kind of takes it to another level uh because you guys have probably done the baking soda and vinegar volcanoes right everybody's done that who's done that have you done that i've done that yeah everybody's done that uh, <laughs> but this takes those volcanoes and kind of steps it up a little bit uh by putting in some corn what yay yay corn yay corn corn so for dancing corn what we're going to do is we're going to make that baking soda and vinegar uh, reaction, <laughs> okay, uh, with our, our base and our acid, right? And we get that carbon dioxide and all of those bubbles. But when you add the corn, it does something a little bit different. Now, when we're doing this one here, the stoichiometry... Stoich. <laughs> uh, sto <laughs> stoich is not... <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not frightfully important okay uh the the amount of baking soda you put in uh you don't have to put an exact amount uh the vinegar you don't have to put an exact amount which is fun for this one because then you can really have uh, even the little guys say all right put some in there put some more in there okay so stoic stoic <laughs> stoichiometry that is the uh we in chemistry where you make sure your ratios and everything stay the same uh, so you have uh you know precise measurements rather than uh, getting out of balance with things but like say in this one it doesn't really matter too much <laughs> yeah all right so we're gonna get started here i'm gonna let charlotte do the the heavy lifting uh, she'll put the stuff in there uh, and we have some baking soda again uh, it doesn't really you can have the little guys do this because you don't have to be too awfully precise we have a um a vessel here a vase with Mm, yay much water yay okay. it's probably about a cup and a half of water you can really do it in a small cup with less water big cup with more water yeah or all a right. big cup with less water whoa okay yes <laughs> all right so here you go yay. and let's see how we're gonna put some in there uh just go ahead and pour for a little bit i'll tell you when to stop uh and like say this is fun because the kids don't <laughs> there's not a precise you just put it in there because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get that oh in there, gosh, and then we're going to stir it up, okay? And we want a pretty, that's plenty, plenty, <laughs> plenty, uh, plenty. <laughs> so we're going to stir it up a little bit. You guys hear that fun ding, ding, ding sound? Would you like to stir it, or, or would you, you like me stir to stir it? I may stir it. Okay, I will stir it. Yes. Uh, we're going to stir it up here. Uh, you'll notice it starts to get pretty clear. And so we're not really super saturated yet. It's going, it's mixing in pretty well. Uh, and you don't have to be. Uh, you just want enough in there that we're going to have that reaction. I'm going to put just a little bit more. There you go. How's that? Okay. Um, again, uh, you don't have to be precise. And that's something that's kind of fun about this one here. So we're going to mix it up a little bit. Uh, give that a little time to dissolve. If you have a whole bunch in there where your, your, um, your solution looks real white, real milky, uh, you may want to put more water in there. Like if the kid's like, ah, then mm -hmm. you may want to put more water in there. Uh, something you'll want to be mindful of, though, uh, you see that I have this about halfway full and have a plate <laughs> underneath it. It will do that volcano-y thing, okay? So you will have some overflow. So you'll want to make sure if you're doing this baking soda and vinegar, you have something that it'll go on to where it doesn't just flow onto the table and then onto the floor and onto your pants. Okay. Yep. All right. So uh, unless you're like, I really want vinegar flavored pants. Yuck. Yuck. Okay. Uh, so uh, nothing says Thanksgiving like vinegar pants. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. All right. So as you can see, that baking soda took a second. Uh, mixed in pretty good. We got a pretty clear solution there. Yay! So baking soda and 
in the water first. That was just regular water. Uh, we have our vessel about halfway full. Next is gonna be corn. So go ahead, you want about this much corn at the bottom. Okay, so it's gonna pour the corn in there. There you go. Again, you can have the kid do the kids do it because it's not a precise amount. Go ahead and put a little bit more in there. Yay, corn! Corn. Eh, that looks like a pretty decent amount of corn. What do you think? Do we need more corn? Yes. Yeah, we could probably need more corn. There you go. Now we got our corn in there, so there's baking soda. Uh, how much baking soda? Precise amount? No. No. Uh, about stoic, <laughs> yeah, stoic geometry. Uh, not really a very precise amount, just as much as you kind of want to put in there. Uh, you'll want it to turn clear about like ours did, but really um, let the kid have fun with it, okay? Or kids. Kids. Kids, have kids. fun with it. So we have kids. corn in the bottom, yeah, us kids, yes. We have corn in the bottom. Uh, we have our water and baking soda, uh, little mixture there, solution. Uh, next, we're gonna have the fun part, and that is to add vinegar. Okay, now when you add the vinegar, yeah, you see the little bubbles Why are there on there? little bubbles on you? Well, the bubbles are going to form on the surface yes. of things. That's what <laughs> bubbles do. Uh, so, and we're going to Thank kind you. of work with that magic in just a little bit here <laughs> and see a little bit more of bubbles on the surface of the corn. Hmm, hmm, bubbles. Okay, bubbles. all right, so uh, go, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pour in the vinegar. When you're pouring in the vinegar, you wanna kinda you don't want it to splash everywhere, but you want to pour it at a, at a pretty decent rate because you want it to kind of stir up that corn at the bottom. Wait, 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 not yet. Uh, when you do, though, be prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was totally impromptu. That was Yay. awesome. Uh, so, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was terrible. All right, so um, yours was beautiful. Oh, anyway, no, no. So uh, when we pour it in there, we're going to have a reaction. So get the kids ready. Maybe do a little bit of build up, maybe a little countdown because things are going to happen. Now, as when that's happening, uh, after our initial eruption, you're going to want to continue to watch because that's where the dancing corn comes into play. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a deal? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, ready? You want to do a countdown, make it way more dramatic? Um, are we going to pour it? In yep, you're just going to... No, no, because as soon as that hits this... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so... Yeah, be prepared. Okay, all right, here we go. Ready? Wait. <laughs> countdown. We got to do a countdown. Ready? Here we go. And three, three two... two. One. one and there was a there was a long pause after one go ahead pour 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 pour, pour. pour. Ah! there you go now uh, now look at that now we get our ours what? there yeah go ahead and put a little more a little faster pour it in there there you go good now stop oh, gosh. okay good no. now no. as we're looking here <laughs> vinegar flavored pants <laughs> vinegar i do have vinegar flavored pants all right now what we want to do is let's watch this corn though okay uh, after that we want to watch the corn and we can see that now that corn has floated up to the top but something else is going to start to happen, okay? Now is when we get our dancing Whoa. corn. It's like it. Yeah, remember those bubbles that we talked about earlier? Yeah. Yeah, those bubbles are now forming, the carbon dioxide is forming <laughs> bubbles on top of the corn, really uh, on cool. the outside of the corn, and then when the corn gets light enough, there's enough bubbles on it to pick it up to the surface, it'll go up to the surface, the bubbles will pop, and then it'll sink back down. So now, after that initial big old eruption, you have dancing corn. Yay, how long will that Yay. last? How long will that last? That's a great question. It really varies, okay? Uh, it changes, we've done it sometimes, and, and they'll dance for maybe 30 seconds. This one, they're dancing for a pretty good long time here. So there's no real set amount of time that it'll dance. I'm very uh, But as long as you see them floating there, They'll continue dancing. Now I'm gonna shake it just a little bit, wow. and now we really oh get, yeah, there you go. They'll really get to dancing that in is there. That's so cool. Yeah. And that's just the carbon dioxide uh, that is formed in that chemical reaction of baking soda and vinegar. Oh look, these ones are dancing too. Yeah, the little ones on our plate are also dancing. But yeah, so as they build up on that corn, the corn gets lighter because there's the air bubbles on the outside. And so, well, the corn stays the same weight, but the air bubbles lift it up to the top, and then the bubbles pop, and it sinks down, and you have a corn lava lamp? Kind of weird. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So that one is called dancing corn, and that's a fun one you guys can do for Thanksgiving, um, and just have a good time with this one. Uh, our eruption, we had a pretty good size eruption. We have slightly vinegar-scented pants now. Yay! Uh, yay, vinegar pants. Um, 
but this is one you can do with even the little guys it's very safe uh, cleanup is very easy no big mess now if you want to make cleanup a little more difficult <laughs> you can add food coloring to this it is neat of it is a neat effect but um, I think clear is just awesome enough and and you don't really need the food coloring and then when you're wiping it up you don't have food coloring all over everything so then you have food coloring flavored pants <clears throat> yeah you don't want food coloring flavored pants <laughs> yeah uh thank you for watching our dancing corn demonstration have some fun with this at home uh now you don't have to keep it down to just corn okay you can have dancing gummy bears or dancing gummy oh, worms cool. um or you know uh, just experiment with different things so have the kids get different things ready uh, you can maybe do it in different glasses and see what dances the longest or what dances the fastest. Make it a competition. Um, yeah, make it a competition. For money. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not for money, but uh, make it a competition. Uh, you know, or just an experiment. Say which one works uh, the best or or floats the longest. Okay. Uh, so I'm Mr. Dave, and this is Charlotte. Uh, thank you for watching another uh, episode of Breaking, Breaking Boredom. Boredom. Uh, and as we say at the end of everything we do. Don't forget to wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Hi guys, it's Mr. Dave and Charlotte and Haley from the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History and we want to say Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and tell you that we're thankful for you for donating and supporting a museum that means so much to our family and to a lot of families in the community. The museum is a great place to learn about science, to learn about our atomic history uh, and to share those STEM experiences with your family. So this Giving Tuesday, if you could remember us when you're donating to a nonprofit, you can be a large part in helping support our museum and the programs that we do. As we end everything that we ever do, stay safe and don't forget, wash your hands. hands.